welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am doing my April TBR for you all. So, um, this month is going to be a little crazy for me because I'm going on a trip and I'm finishing up my spring semester of classes. So it's going to be really hectic probably, but I'm hoping to still read some good books this month. I'm only going to pick five again. I feel like that number is just working well with for me, picking a small TBR because it gives me flexibility to still read those books and extras if I want. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got my trusty little jar here and I'm going to go ahead and pull out some props. So let's go. We're going to pick from the bottom. We're going to pick this one. Oh, okay. I feel like I pull this one all the time, but this prompt is a book that intimidates you. I'm gonna have to think on that one because there are a lot. So next we're gonna pull, let's pull from this, this side here. So this one is, okay, well, it's not focusing, but it's basically read a book from a friend's TBR. So I'll be looking at that. All right, number three. Read a new to you author. It could be a debut author or just an author I've never read from before. So that'll be interesting. Let's see, what else do I have? Number four. A friend's recommendation, choose wisely. Ooh, so I get a free choice on which friend I'm gonna ask to recommend me a book. All right, and then, oops, we have one more. So I think I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, and this one is reread a favorite. All right, so that's fun. So I got my five. So I have to read a book that intimidates me, a book from a friend's TBR, a new to me author, reread a favorite, and a friend's recommendation. So give me a second to really think on these and I'll be back with my picks. All right, so my camera died when I filmed that first clip, so I did choose some books. I'm back with the books that I chose, and we're gonna do that. So the first prompt for read a book from a friend's TBR. Um, that one, I'm not sure yet. I think that one I'm gonna wait because TBRs aren't out yet as I'm filming this, and I wanna make sure that I'm being fair to the prompt by actually watching people's April TBRs so that one's gonna be put on hold but um uh, for the next one we read a favorite so for that one i actually chose um killer instinct by jennifer lynn barnes so last year i reread the naturals and i decided i guess this year that i wanted to reread the entire series so um the next book in the series is killer instinct and you could just tell my love for this series just from how much like i tabbed it because yeah <laughs> so i am excited to reread this and then move on to the, the rest of the series also for reread a favorite i'm going to add on it happened one summer by tessa bailey because i want to reread this because i loved it so much when i read it last summer and um i personally just want to reread this so i can tab all my favorite parts so that's why i'm tacking it on to here next we have read a book that intimidates you so for that one um, I'm actually going to pick War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. So this one doesn't actually intimidate me, but this has just taken me a really long time to get to for some reason. I, I'm just like not hesitant to read it, but I've been putting it off because I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not, but I do want to finish this series because it is the last book. So um, I'm putting this on the list. I was supposed to technically finish it last year and I never got around to it. So I'm making it a priority to finish it this year so I don't have this series hanging over my head basically. Next I have read a new to you author. So for that one I have two and I'm gonna try and get into a mystery thriller bag this year so the first one is a curious beginnings by deanna rayborn this one sounded really intriguing and i know it takes place in like 1880s london 
but that's really all I know about it and that's kind of all I want to know about it but then the other option I have is an Agatha Christie which is Murder on the Orient Express I actually have never read an Agatha Christie but I figured since I want to get into mystery thrillers she'd be a good place to start because she's like the OG queen of all of that so um, I grabbed this as well and so maybe I'll do both maybe I'll do one or the other but these are the ones that I'm thinking of putting under that prompt for the last prompt it is a friend's recommendation um, so I was trying to think of how I was going to do this and I actually just chose a book that friends have been kind of raving about and telling me to pick up sooner rather than later and it's par partially going to be for a, a video that i'm doing as well but i decided i wanted to do jade war by fonda lee i read jade city last year i believe i gave it three stars i thought it was okay but i'm intrigued to read the second book and see if i like it more because I've had friends who said they they thought the first book was okay, but they liked the second one more So I'm willing to see if that is a book that I will be in or not um, But I am intrigued to check this out. I really liked Fonda Whitley's world um, I like the way she did her war world and for the most part I enjoyed the characters I just didn't really become attached to any of them really um, But I'm intrigued to see if that changes in this one all right, so those are all the prompts and then I just have a few extras that I'm adding in. Last month I read Throne of Glass in my attempt to, I guess, go back and read Sarah J Moss's backlist titles after reading um, House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath and loving both of them. So uh, next I'll be reading Crown of Midnight, um, which is the second book in the Throne of Glass series. So I'm hoping to uh, dive into this one. I have the audio already set up on Audible so I can just speed through it whenever I get to it next in April. Um, but I'm excited. I liked the first one when I read it the first time and then after my reread last month, I actually enjoyed it still. Um, and I actually made more a better attempt to just remember a lot of the things that I was like hmm, that's suspicious kind of thing so that way I can go into this one kind of with ideas or theories so um, I'm intrigued to see what happens in this one because I really don't know what to expect last book I officially have on this list is uh, the next buzzword book which is I believe something that has little or big in the title or variations of those words in the title so for that one I chose Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes because um, when she's my favorite one of my favorite authors but also this book has been sitting on my shelves for a really long time and so I would like to read it um, and get it out of the way um, and see if this is another fave of hers that I will enjoy or not. That is my April TBR. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like it, like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave that down below in the comment section. Um, if you're not good at commenting, go ahead and leave me an emoji. Um, leave me like a flower emoji because April's here, it's spring. Hopefully it's warming up wherever you are. So it's, it's just a time for hopefully good weather. Um, but yeah, and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.